Are you a gamer? Content creator? You play with mouse and keyboard? Or a controller? I swear, I didn't mean for this to sound like poetry at all. <laughs> if you've been on Twitch for a little bit, you'll probably see people use what they call a hand cam. And it's a very complex concept. I'm, I'm joking. It's a camera pointed at their hand. In my own experience, I've mostly seen people use it that don't want to show their face, but want to establish some sort of presence on stream. It's also used by people who don't want to focus on their face and want to just showcase their skills at their particular game. And then lastly, it's also used by people who've been accused of cheating so they have to basically show proof hey look i'm moving my mouse so yeah <laughs> now i'm not gonna teach you how to point a camera at your hand you don't need that but i do want to bring you along as i try to set up a little more creative way of having hand cams we're gonna be utilizing an accessory that elgato came up with a couple months ago which is the green screen mouse mat so by the end of this video you will know how to set up a hand cam using the elgato green screen mouse mat and maybe some little creative assets to go with it. But right before all that, a quick message from our sponsor and then we can begin. This portion of the video is sponsored by OwnPro. OwnPro is a complete service to help you jumpstart your streaming career by offering you every single thing that you need in order to become the streamer you've always wanted to be. You'll get access to over 600 overlay packs and alerts. You'll get widgets such as events list, stream labels. You need help managing your stream? Here's a custom chatbot. OwnPro even went as far as creating copyright free music just to make sure you stay on the safe side. OnPro has the biggest library of overlay packs on the internet and allows you to install them in one click. Look at that. There's so many. <laughs> now I've been working with Owned for a while now, so they decided to throw in 50% off of their pro plan. So if you want to upgrade, simply use code GAEL, G-A-E-L, for 50% off. But I'll let you find this out at own.gg slash pro. That is O-W-N-3-D.gg slash pro. So I have OBS Studio open right there. Don't worry about all the things on the screen. I have it set up with stream elements right now. This is why I have an events list. And on my left, you will see the chat. If you don't have that, don't panic. You're fine. Your OBS is fine. It's not that different from mine. This is just OBS Live, which I will make a tutorial on. So let me go to my just chatting scene and let's add a camera. Oh, by the way, I have this set in grid. I can go list okay boom let's go video capture and we're gonna call that main cam all right we're gonna select our 4k grabber basically my main main camera and there you go i'm back hi then for my hand cam i will be using the logitech c920 it's a very popular camera i actually own the elgato face cam but i was having some issues with my cables i need to buy a better usb3 cable nothing fancy i have it propped up against my monitor but it is blocking a little bit of my monitor the best scenario for you to have something that you can just put in any position is to buy an additional desk mount plus an arm that goes with it elgato sells those but there's also very very cheaper options i think i reviewed one by yulonzi and uh, they're way cheaper than the elgato ones but at the end of the day it's just a monopod that you clamp to your table and then an additional arm clamps to it the c920 comes with a quarter inch thread at the bottom the elgato face cam also comes with a quarter inch thread if you have any other cheap just make sure that you can basically put it on a tripod if you wanted to so i'm gonna click plus i'm gonna add a video capture device and um we'll we're gonna call this one webcam. Why do I have another webcam there? Uh, go to C920. Now the C920 is a little iffy. The, like this is cool. You know, you can just go with this, but no, we're not going to do that. We want full quality for some reason. You don't need full quality for your hand cam, but let's go custom here and let's pick 1080p because that's what our configuration is. And as you can see, I have more room now too. Another thing you can do is go to configure video and you can set up everything so it looks good. Now I have the green screen mat. As you can see, it's not that green. It's more like a gray, mostly because the white balance and the auto uh, configuration stuff but you usually want the contrast to be a little like that you want saturation to be a little a little more you basically want to represent the greens the way they were meant to be represented right um white balance you want that to be unticked for automatic because if i did put it it would try to fight the green so you just keep it like that or you can just play around with it until the colors seem good uh, i already have auto exposure off so that when i 
place my hand close to the camera or I put something white in front of it, it doesn't change the exposure. So your green screen is going to your key is going to stay the same. Basically, autofocus, turn that off also so it doesn't try to focus uh, in and out uh, while you're playing because your hand is not going to move. It's it's a it's a solid plane. OK, all right, let's click OK. And um, if it's just the C920, you're not using any other software. You're probably going to have to do those settings every time you restart your computer. But OK, so the first thing you want with a hand cam is not I could tell you, hey, just uh, crop it right. You can put it there and then here I have a hand cam. Easy, right? You can hold alt if you want to crop the parts that you don't want and you just drag the side for example all right we can do this can do that we can do this and boom we have the perfect hand cam we can just chroma key it and then we're good technically yes but if you want something a little more complex we're gonna talk about it all right first of all let's chroma let's chroma key it okay let's right click on it go to filters go to plus here to add a new filter and it's gonna be the filter called chroma key all right click ok and immediately we'll see hey this is not too bad right uh, my hand is still crisp uh, the, the mouse is still crisp but um this part especially you know with the shadow and the light is kind of messing with it you can bump up the similarity so anything that feels more similar to green will go in smoothness you can turn that to zero just to see exactly what it's keying like right now it's not keying much as you can see the shadow is fine but it's not really doing it there's also the color spill which is basically making anything close to the green gray so basically you don't have color spill anyways just bump up the similarity until there's something that feels decent then you can put a little bit of smoothness to it all right color spill reduction you don't have to play around with that that much depending on your lighting it depends like if you have a lot of of green on your hand or if you do this there's a ton of green like you might want to play around with the color spill but other than that it's not that bad you're going to be moving fast but not that fast hopefully all right let's bump this up completely and as you can see a lot of color spill going on here i advise you getting like a very soft kind of light don't point a light directly at it it's not going to do you any favors because the you can see the highlights and shadows are actually messing with it, right? You see here, this is like a white spot on my finger and it and it keys it. So let's go back. And of course, seeing this here is a good reference, right? Just bump up the smoothness a little bit. And I think we're going to bump this up like that. Not too bad. All right. Not too shabby. I don't think anyone's going to be mad at you if it looks like that. Of course, I can play around with the colors a little bit more. But this is the main thing with the Elgato. Go on. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Other things that you can use this for, because obviously you're not going to use your hand cam while you're on this scene. You're most likely going to be playing a video game. Do I have a scene with 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 a game? Oh, I guess we can just. And if you're wondering what type of overlay is this, this is an, a custom overlay I made for Prof Mid Valley because I was doing a giveaway and he won it. Uh, I still have it on my on my OBS for some reason. OK, so I'm going to go copy my uh, webcam here. I'm going to right click, click copy. I'm going to go to gameplay and then I'm going to paste a reference because that's the only issue I have. OK, boom. So I can do this. Of course, if you're playing Apex, you wouldn't want to block the map or anything. You might put it here anywhere that's not blocking valid information that your viewers might want to see. But here's the thing. If you want to rotate this, you can right click on it, go to transform and uh, rotate 90 degrees. Right. You can do this. Boom. Put it there and now this is what's happening now of course you want to put it in a way that people understand what's going on and it's kind of um synced to what's going on on screen right so that when they see you move left your character just actually moves left so don't go too wild when it comes to the rotations and the flipping um look at all the transform options that you have here so you can rotate one 180 you can flip horizontal vertical you can stretch the screens center the screen and all of that but the one of the most important ones is that you can also if your camera is not pointing straight down and you know you're not you don't have this right angle that i have you can control e while you have the webcam selected or edit transform and here is the magic where you can actually rotate it to whatever degrees you want. You want 45 degree angle, boom, 45 degree angle. Look at that. Now I can put my webcam in uh, my hand in a corner. Oh, it is my webcam. So if I want to do this, that's also possible. Of course, I can also um, if I right click and the flip this, is that going to work? Uh, maybe not that one. Uh, flip vertical, boom. So if you want to bottom here, that is something that you also can do. Another thing that I wanted to do is maybe have some sort of overlay that matches 
the whole thing. So I want to go back here and I want to talk to you about mask. You should know about mask right now because I made so many videos about it. But basically, there's a filter called image blend mask filters. Add a new filter image blend mask. There you go. Boom. And if you browse a color that is black and white, knowing that white will reveal, black will hide, you can create a shape, basically a shape of transparency. Let me put out Photoshop real quick. All right. So my image is uh, 1080p, for example. If I wanted a circular webcam source, basically, I would just go here and I could create, let, let me just create a, an ellipse. There you go. I would just create a wide circle like that. You can do this in MS Paint. Don't tell me, I don't know how to use Photoshop. I'm telling you to put a white circle on a black background. Come on now. Boom. There you go. And if you export this as a PNG, you can import it as your image mask, right? Export, quick export PNG. OK, so let's go back and find it. So I am on the filter here and I'm browsing for my mask. Circular is here. The format is 1080p. And right now, like you can't see it much because I have the chroma. If I turn off the chroma, I actually have it is cropped. Of course, it is cropped. But let me close this and uncrop it. <laughs> and show you. But basically, you can be tactical when it comes to the cropping, right? For example, here I could crop it with that method so that only my keyboard is out of the frame, right? Or only my PC on the side or something like that. I realize that I have a lot of space and my keyboard is not in front of me. But if you want to selectively show just the green screen part, you can do that by using masks, basically. But if you want it to be like artistic, the way that you display your hand even on the gameplay scene, right? It is still cropped here. But of course, let's say that you don't have a green screen mat. You're not as fortunate as I am and or you didn't buy one, right? Um, you can still do this. And this is like an artistic choice to have a hand cam that is circular. Now, if you're like me and you do stream with your face, what you can do is also add that filter. Actually, let me just right click here. I'm going to copy filters because that's something you can do in OBS Studio. Right click here and then paste filters. There you go. The chroma key is not on right now, but you can basically in a nested scene or just in your scene itself, you can go ahead and have both of those together like a beautiful pair. Let me select them by holding shift, right click, and then uh, group selected items called the group cam. And then I can copy paste this into my other scene. Boom. Boom, right click, paste, reference, control Z to undo. What happened there? It didn't copy the group, copy, all right, click, paste, reference or duplicate, reference or duplicate, actually. But there we go. And now my webcam looks like this, which I'm not against. If I right click on the main cam now, I go to filters. I do turn on my chroma key. That is not the camera that I wanted. Webcam filters, chroma key. Nice. Now, of course, I don't have the original crop anymore. That's why I told you, like, you need to basically screenshot your camera and, and your limits. Uh, this part, for example, right here, I would probably crop it out with the mask, right? But that's not the point here. The point here is that I can have my hand right there coming out, maybe at the bottom. Like that. So that will be my hand cam and people can see what's going on, whether I have a chroma key a mouse mat or not. Cool thing is that well, also using Photoshop, you can probably create some cool looking um, backgrounds. Let me do that real quick. Nice. All I'm going to have to do is just import it into my OBS and then and then we're good. Click plus go to image source because it's an image. Just call it actually call it overlay cam. Okay, that's a perfectly normal name. Go there, pick it, click OK. It's right there. If you want to do it in a nested scene, once again, that's fine. You can add it to the previous group if you decided to go with the group. I'm actually going to turn this down like this. I don't know. I sounded like, goof, like goofy for two seconds there, like this. And then I'm going to eyeball it a little bit, use my arrow keys on my keyboard. Boom. And then I can have the hand cam. That is if you don't have the green screen, right? So I'm going to turn on the webcam, which should already be on. Oh, no, it's right there. OK, cool. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the chroma key, right? Click filters. Chroma key is here. Boom, turn it off. So we're imagining it's just your table. You just make it. You can make a cool looking hand cam without the green screen. 
nice. This is what it would look like, right? Of course, my camera is not well placed or I'm not well placed. It would probably look a little bit better like that if my camera was flipped, for example, right? So this would be my hand. Boom, boom, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Let's do uh, something else, actually. We don't even need to show you in the gameplay scene. Let's just go back to the just chatting scene. By the way, if you're thinking, oh my God, this filter is affecting everything, you need to create a nested scene or actually add the filters to the group. So create a different scene that has the camera and then add it as a scene. So when you duplicate it into your gameplay scene, you can just add the filter to the scene and not to the camera. Right now, the filter is directly to the camera, so everywhere the camera is, is gonna have the filter. I made a video about it. Please watch my videos, turn on the notification bell. This is perfect segment into tell, reminding you to subscribe, click the notification bell, because you're gonna have questions. And guess what? I already answered those questions. Or if I haven't yet, I will in the future. And boom, there you have it. Face cam plus hand cam. Of course, right now there's this little bit right there that we don't like. It's fine. We can either move the camera a little bit so it isn't part of it, or we can go ahead and add that part to our mask. Remember that? It's over there pretty much. You can create a new layer, a brush, and then you just do bloop. And now you can export it and import this one. Or actually you can just yeah, no, export another one. It's going to mess up our camera if we don't export another one. Square one. Now you can go back to your hand, your webcam, filters, image mask blend, browse, find that new one. And would you look at that? It's on the wrong side. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't do this. You can just control T, right click, flip vertical, do this instead. There you go. Boom. We're going to save, exploit, PNG. Click that one. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I want to replace it. Boom, and it should be updated. Yes, there you go. There you go. So if you want to put like a gradient in the background, if you want to put animated stuff, you can put that too by just utilizing the mask in everything. It is just that simple. Now, if you want to watch a full video on the masks, also the animated mask, because yes, you can make those masks move. I found a technique, my own technique basically to make the mask move. Uh, it's a little complicated, but I will be making more videos about it. But I, there's already a video about it. Look at my channel, please actually turn on the notification bell because I know you will have questions about streaming. I spend my time answering those questions. So please, please watch my videos. <laughs> that is way more talking than I ever thought was possible just about a hand cam. But now you know how to make Pro hand cams look, you know, different than everyone else that just has a rectangle and their camera just pointed at their hand, which is what well, we have too. But our rectangle is 90 degrees. So also you learn how to utilize mask. Hopefully you learn that you can rotate anything to any degrees on OBS Studio, which is something that I didn't know for a while. I don't know how long this feature has been in. You also learn the quick nested scene trick in order to add some filters to some cameras on certain scenes and not other scenes. Just have a scene with just the camera and then add them as scenes and add the filters to that scene. So hopefully that was inspiring for you to go and create something new, you know, something cool. If you're looking for some pre-made overlays, I have a bunch of them. Some of them are animated some of them are not animated some of them are free actually most of them are free the rest is very affordable so check them out at gumroad.com slash get level you're probably watching this at the end of 2021 it's been an amazing year uh it was awesome and i would like to take this time to thank you guys because you were you were just great the support was amazing and we were able to accomplish a lot this year and i'm so excited for 2022 because i have a lot of plans coming up anyways i'm running out of saliva and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching the video go out there make me proud or Got a level out. <laughs>